So I'll just tell you the bits which aren't so obvious. So one of the plastic trims that you're going to have to remove is got one screw which is a bit hidden, which is underneath this cover here at the side. Okay. Uh, so go the other way. So let's ignore that. So when you get the airbag off, the best thing is to tie it up out of the way over the mirror. You don't need to unplug it at all. So there it is there again. So this is what you're trying to achieve. You want to get the plastic housing off and then it's really easy to put the, the new cylinder in it. It's just there. So one of the things that took me a while to do is the two bolts at the top are quite hard to get to and I tried with a universal joint but it, it still didn't work. So what you want to be doing this is what you want. So on the left hand side of the steering column is this lever here which makes makes it so that you can move the column up and down. Well what you want to do is put a long bar through that gap but it's actually right at the top, right at the top there. You can then re just reach those two nuts. Let's carry on see what else there is here I can tell you. Okay, so this is the sensor on the clutch master cylinder. And the best thing to do isn't to unplug the wires, but just to pull the sensor off completely. And then you can unplug the wires once it's like that in your hand. That's the easiest way to do that. That's pretty obvious. That's the, the little pocket that opens and closes that you can put things in like the little drawer you just pull that and it it pops off you know it's got like a little ridge now before you take the airbag off you're going to have to undo this bracket which you won't see because it's tucked up around the back of the airbag so that's one to look out for now when it comes to bleeding it the only way that I think you're going to get the air out of it is to open this bleed nipple which is turning it to the left 180 degrees and then you want to push brake fluid through that nipple and up through the master cylinder and so that you start filling the reservoir. It took me two of these syringes so something like a hundred hundred and twenty mil I'll just pause it because there's something else I want to tell you that was it so when you're bleeding it all you do is you leave the clutch pedal up if you have the clutch pedal down it won't allow the fluid to travel this caught me out this little rubber grommet the sealing grommet that goes on this pipe here which is the supply of brake fluid that gets stuck on the old cylinder so once you've removed that oh sorry I've lost you now let's try that so once you've removed it what you do with it is you clip it into the pipe itself like that if you do do it any other way it won't go back together I think that's uh, as clear as I can get that for you so I'll just go through it one more time and check that I've told you all the things that aren't that obvious pretty certain I've got everything but yeah that's it so good luck